China and the United States have resumed their high-level talks, and the recent one is a meeting between Chinese Vice Premier and the U.S. Commerce Secretary. According to Pastor Polo Siki Blori, this meeting serves as an example that visiting Beijing is not an act of treason. Hannah Jane Sancho has the details. Chinese Vice Premier He Liping met with U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimundo during her visit to Beijing on Tuesday. The two parties had candid pragmatic and constructive discussions over implementing the important consensus reached at the Bali meeting between the two countries' heads of state, as well as economic and trade issues of common concern. China expressed concerns about U.S. actions such as Section 301, tariffs, export controls against China, and investment restrictions. Both sides agreed to maintain communication and support businesses of both nations for long-term cooperation. According to Pastor Apollo Sikibuloy of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, the U.S. officials' recent trip to China serves as an example that visiting Beijing is not synonymous with being a traitor. Yun nga, ang, ang ating argumento noong nakaraan Sunday na itong mga masyadong maka, maka ano, masyadong parang parang masyadong maka, maka Amerikano na kung bibisita ka lang ng, ng ano eh hindi maganda yung sasabing traidor. Yun ang, yun ang parang hindi maganda sa mga sinasabi na pagka ikaw bumisita ng China sa panahon ito dahil sa ayungin siyol, ikaw ay traidor o hindi mo kinundin na ikaw ay traidor. O, so, nilinaw natin yon. Pastor Apollo further stated that the U.S. is now courting China because the latter is gradually releasing the debt that Washington owes, which could potentially lead to the downfall of the American economy. Ito nga, oh, sunod-sunod ang pagbisita ng mga uh, opisyal ng Amerika sa China upang makipagkasundo sa kanilang mga trade para daw mapabuti ang China at ang Amerika para maganda yung kanilang uh, usapan kasi nire-release na ng China ang pagkakautang ng Amerika yung binayaran ng Ameri ng China ang utang ng Amerika eh 800 billion na tayo ngayon dahan-dahan nire-release pag na-release lahat yan eh, mag mahirapan na ekonomiya ng Amerika kaya nililigawan nila kayo ng China o kayong masyadong Parang kung sa Papa pa, kung sa Katoliko pa, they are more popish than the Pope. They are more Americans than the Americans kung magtanggol sila. Pastor Apollo called for a broader perspective and cautioned against bias towards any country. He emphasized the need for logical thinking and urged people not to label someone a traitor based on visiting China. E bias. Ang hindi ko gusto ron, bias. Na pagka bumisita ka doon sa lugar na yon ikaw ay uh, traidor na. That is a sweeping statement na hindi maganda pakinggan sapagkat walang argumento doon at walang lohika. Kung didibati tayo, eh, bigyan mo ng pagkakataong makapagsalita yung iba sa kanilang mga opinion. Tulad ngayon, itong mga opisyal na to, pabalik-balik sa China, sila pa nga ang naliligaw sa China ngayon, ano eh, traidor ba sila sa Amerika? O, diba? Ganon yun. This follows Pastor Apollo's clarification amid speculations about whether he is pro-China or pro-U.S. But Pastor Apollo said that his loyalty lies only with the Philippines. It should be noted that the good pastor recently visited Beijing to facilitate the necessary arrangements for the construction of the world's largest indoor cathedral, the King Dome. Forgotten my beloved country, the Philippines. This has been Hannah Jane Sancho. SMNI News. Judgment call. This is what Pastor Apollo Sikibuloy said in relation to the terrifying wildfires the world is currently experiencing. But why did the good pastor say this? Let's hear more details in Sara Santos' report. Canada is facing their worst wildfire season in history as over 1,000 fires burn damaging more than 15 million hectares of land and leaving no province nor territory in the county spared. Ang uh, Hawaii naman, recently, they also had a devastating fire in Maui, especially in the Lahaina city, no? na kung saan talagang napakatindi ng init na pati yung bakal natutunaw. 
In the most recent Give Us This Day program on Wednesday, August 30th, Pastor Apollo Sikibuloy of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ said that the terrifying wildfires that is currently happening in various countries, including Canada, USA, Greece, Spain, Italy, Algeria, Tunisia, and Turkey, is a judgment call. The good pastor's statement comes after he was asked about his view as a spiritual leader on the consecutive tragedies caused by wildfires in the said countries. Here, Pastor Apollo shares that this could possibly be the fulfillment of the two visions he received in his younger years. So, talagang matutupad na siguro sinabi ng banal na aklat na hindi na tubig ang gagamitin ng ama para i-judge ang salibutan, kundi apoy na. Okay, ako may mga kapayagan dyan, hindi ko lang masasabi sa inyo ang bansa kung saan nakita ko ito'y nasusunog. At uh, munang pahayag na yun. Siguro mangyayari yan at the later moment. And this is a judgment call kasi yung, yung kapayagan ko noong ako'y uh, tinawag na nga man, nasa parang pa ako, mga I was 17 years old siguro, second year high school, yung dalawang dream ko ang pinakita niya, na nagtatakbuhan ng tao, lumulundag, pumutok yung, ano, yung mga ano, nagliliyab. Lumundag sila sa dagat, eh nangyari sa Maui yun eh. Tapos, in a larger scale, sa buong sanlibutan naman, ang second dream ko, na pati ang langit, parang, parang banig na ginaganon, but it was on fire. Kahit lumundag ka pa sa dagat, hahabulin ka ng sunog. Meanwhile, the European Union, or EU, recently announced that the current wildfires in Greece are the largest on record in the entire bloc. Due to the size, Greece has asked for assistance from other countries to contain the fires from which the EU had sent 11 airplanes and helicopters. Since the wildfires started in Greece on August 19th, at least 20 wildfire-related deaths have been recorded in the said country. In relation to this, as an appointed son of God, Pastor Apollo Sikiblois said that if Egypt had a Goshen in the times before, there's also a safe place that God had prepared in our time today. So, pasalamat tayo, mayroon tayong bagong Jerusalem tulad ng Goshen na kung saan magiging safe ang tayo. Kaya, when the world is under judgment, the Father always uh, sets aside a place where all His people can go for safety. And uh, if uh, Egypt has a Goshen, then the Father in the last days has a new Jerusalem. It can be noted that Pastor Apollo is known as a spiritual leader with a prophetic ministry in which everything he says happens. For God and my beloved Philippines, this has been Sara Santos, Esmenai News.